Cancer, it's Christelle Martinet here with a reading for the month of October. I have here in front of me a number of different tarot decks and I'll choose which one I'll be working uh, with for you. And then I have here runes, Tiger's Eyes runes that I'll use at the end to crown the reading and this beautiful um, Vida Sibila, an old Vida Sibila deck lovely lovely and I take it out uh, sparingly because the cards are fra fragile now but I'll be using that as clarifiers and well what am I seeing for you uh, cancer what am I seeing has that calm from September left you no it hasn't as a matter of fact it seems that that is the beginning of a new uh, modus vivendi for you um, it is uh, uh, it's it's the way that you are going to face difficult situations, no longer flying off the handle, uh, no longer getting your high blood pressure up, no longer getting red in the face, you know. No, it's a different way that you, 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 you know, you're being much more philosophical in, in the way that you ha are dealing with difficult issues. But what about our month of October? Our month of October shows me that you do have, I'm, I'm hearing the word menial tasks. Uh, menial labor, things, nuisances to contend with, nothing difficult at all. Uh, but you do that and you do that very method, with method, very uh, methodically. What there is a, um, if there is one uh, side to the difficulty in your month of October, Cancer, it is a slight pain, a <laughs> literal pain, uh, those of you who may feel a pain in your knee, a pain in your lower back, a pain that you have to, you know, you have to give your attention to. Why is it? Is this is my meniscus? Do I have to have it operated on? Well, is this a carpal tunnel? What is this? What, there's some kind of pain. It's, it's, it's a, not a very bad pain. You, it's, uh, you can't take it. It's a pain that is insistent and it will require your attention. Now, let me use the deck. I'm going to use the the New Orleans Voodoo Tarot deck, and then use other clarifiers. Let's see. Let's see, let's see what is in store for you. Cancer, let me see what is in store for you for the month of October, having said what I just said. We have our first Gudala Flambeau. Gudala Flambeau. It's a Pedro card, um, a fire sign. Lovely card that really asks. It's a three, and it's the uh, you know it is festive. It is very festive, and what I'm looking at though is the festive nature where there is sort of an obligation. This card talks about obligation where you um there's certain things that even if it is of a, a festive nature you cannot you know sidestep those obligations let me take a few clarifiers on those i'm going to take one one yes a vecchia signora which speaks to positive change she also talks about a visit and a someone coming your way someone that you haven't seen for a very, very long time, either the visit coming to you or you going to visit them. Interesting this is. The next, um, the next tarot uh, card is Gida again, Rada, the three again, two threes. Two threes, how lovely this is. This is giving thanks and um, uh, showing your gratitude. This talks about showing your gratitude and bringing thanks and um, what interests me in these two threes is where and who that person is that you will be seeing or who will be coming to you and why the giving thanks here in the month of October yes this is um, all positive things there's giving thanks in the way of seeing them haven't seen them in a long time, show them that you care for them. This is what it's all about. Now, then we have here um, Oshun, Santeria, the seven card. And here we have our first 
um, the focus card here, this is our first incidence where we're feeling the necessity to withhold certain emotions. And here I'm going to take three cards from the Fira Sibila. And because it's a focus card and it's important, even though you know one three five, it's mirroring the Pertro three card. So speedy, okay. The sighing, so speedy here. Uh, Donna di Servizio, the housemaid, and uh, surprise. Now these are uh, telling me that yes, it has been a long time in coming, right? Um, this these are expectations as well, and the little help from your friends that comes with the Donna di Servizio card, also with the surprise card, you remember our gifts here, talks about the necessity, don't avoid seeing that person and don't avoid opening your home to them. Here I have the world egg, a major arcana zero, and um, it's the first of the major arcana in this deck. And it's a lovely, it's one of the most loveliest cards in the deck. And here too, there's a moment of celebration. There's a moment of, of renewal. There's a moment of feeling that, okay, we haven't seen each other for a long time. This is a new chapter, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you have tended, as may have been the case, and I remember the readings for uh, cancer, over the last year, focusing on one person specifically, now there is a new phase where you're opening your heart. Here is um, Agve Rada, the four card. And we have, um, this is a card that talks about traveling, um, traveling um, souls from one place to another. And it talks about a, not a, a, a real um, vacation or travel. It's not, it's mirroring the Pedro card. It's a moment of celebration as well. And it's a moment of ritual. We are literally, when you have changed your countenance from a year ago, you're opening again your heart to the world. And I'm, I'm seeing and hearing November as um, somebody important in your life for you, important person for you, but not necessarily who's in your life now, will be coming to you. I know it's a little early. Okay, yes, it is a little early. You are, it won't be a travel card. This is the prison, prigione, sacerdote, the um, priest, and the sponsali, the, the uh, wedding, um, the, the family life, and a family who is important. You will be here in a moment of it's I guess the word in English is hiatus or hiatus I think it's hiatus in a in a suspended um, a suspended animation suspended form almost as if you were expecting something to happen you feel you sense but it hasn't happened yet November it's coming up let me take the runes here for you cancer see what they have to add here okay All right, now, um, in terms of the travel, there is no travel. We have a Watts uh, Merck's Dave. That is not the case. It is um, more a visionary movement towards the future and expectations, their expectations. What I have that's difficult here um, that I'm going to get my uh, Neapolitan hold on, I'm going to shut the camera off and come here. Sorry about that. I had to go fishing around for them. Um, when I see something that doesn't jive, I, I always take the Neapolitan cards. There are great clarifiers when when nothing else works. Because I'm seeing Anzus Merkstave here, and it's a lack of communication, and Lagos Merkstave. And it's a difficult moment concerning the a person who is, you have to see or they have to see. And when this type of situation comes out, it's sort of um, an, either they have difficulty or they have difficulty in communicating with you, or there's difficulty, maybe there's the desire of not communicating with you. But here I'm seeing a lovely encounter. This is the um, Seven of Cups. Indeed, this talks about a person coming in. This talks about um, rising from your ashes and the Three of Pentacles. Here again, there's there's these threes. Um, I'm getting the message here cancer 
that you have a sensation that you would like to not see this person. This is what these two runes here are talking about. But it would behoove you to do so. You know, it's a necessary passage. And uh, Need is talking about that. And also, uh, uh, Gifu. Gifu is talking about the exchange that you um, will have with this person and the benefit it will bring you. You yourself, this is Pedro Brightstave and Ingvats. Um, you yourself understand that you would like to hide uh, with a, sort of a uh, smoke screen yourself, but you know that since you're in a different position with respect to a year ago, you're going to remove that mask, remove that smoke screen, and go right in. It's different from how you've been acting in, in the years past. What I have up up top here is um, uh, um, Hagal, Hagalas. And the Hagal is always a, a rune that's quite important to take note of. And it's telling you this is something you need to do because there's inner growth there for you that should not be bypassed. I hope this was of help to you, Cancer. And I'd like to thank all my new subscribers for joining me, my old subscribers. And do like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye till we read together again.